I ask our people to pray for both sides and to pray that they will find in them the courage to build the peace that the world needs. And this is not to say that their battle has any more value than what is going on in Darfur, in Sudan, um, in other parts of the world. But this one, regrettably, has been constant in people's living rooms and bedrooms and dining rooms because it is being televised. And I pray, therefore, that all countries um, of the world will urge that we secure peace before what we do is resurrect centuries-old enmity that will last yet again for decades rather than seeking to be able to build a peace. Let us for the moment assume that Israel has a right to self-defense. Self-defense cannot mean revenge. Self-defense cannot mean collective punishment, and it cannot mean genocide. What is happening is just plain wrong. You walk down any street in um, any of our capitals in the Caribbean, people will tell you that it's wrong. And we have to speak out about this, and we have to strengthen our relations with the state of Palestine without in any way at all denying the right of Israel to exist within secure borders.